with Ashton. He was a sweet, sweet child. He was very motivated by movement. He would love to move and run and play. We joke with another friend of ours that her son would sit and look at picture books and my son would always be picking up the ball and wanting to play basketball. But we found that I caught on pretty early on with his language development, it didn't match his peers and his father has dyslexia. So I knew that that was probably in the cards. He would speak very monotone, you know, just not being able to clearly communicate what he was trying to ask for. He was really shy and he would avoid a lot of conversations with people just because he couldn't remember their names or he just couldn't carry on a conversation. It was really difficult for him. All the other kids are like way higher level than me and it just doesn't feel the best. He could not spell basic words that they were learning in kindergarten, like cat and dog. He would reverse his letters. And so moving into first grade, we're like, okay, this is getting serious. He's dropping below his peers and he's falling behind. Um, so we had him evaluated in Little Rock and he did have dyslexia like his father. Moments before Mel had been sitting in the piccolo I don't know. Well, when I started researching what dyslexia actually was, that it was a part of the brain that was not processing properly, because you get all this information. Is it educational? Is it, is it medical? And so medical obviously spoke to me just because that's my background and my training. And so that's why we decided to look into this. Dr. Conway came to Arkansas to speak and I heard his medical explanation for what dyslexia was. That spoke to me, but I was very skeptical. And it was not an easy journey to uproot my family for four months and put them through a program. So I was skeptical for sure. And I think that's wise to be whenever you're coming into a program like this and ask all the questions that you want to have answered. Not too scared to like read anymore. The team here is very qualified. And so it was, it was a miracle in that I actually found something and I was so grateful. Cause what about, what if we never would have found this? What would he be doing? He wouldn't be able to get through fifth grade and we've got college. When I saw a change, I felt super good. And I thought that change is gonna stay and stick forever. In this four month period of time, he has learned more than he has in his six years at school. He's able to actually write a sentence, not even a sentence, he's able to write a paragraph about a thought that he came up with and able to articulate the words and paint a picture for somebody else and then write it down. And you can't, you can't really put a price tag on that. Mel had been sitting in the peaceful darkness surrounded by the magical wilderness of gray. Glacier National Park. Owls hooted, night bugs shimmered, but then there was a new sound, sound that made me.